Now for the next layer of the drawing, we're going to feel in or sketch the bird. And the important thing here is we're going to use sketchy lines uh, to just work out the, more of the detail or more of the, the actual shape of the bird and just get a, get a stronger sense of the bird from um, with what we've started with, with proportions here. So we're using a 2B pencil for this stage. And the important thing here is just to keep looking back at the drawing and really trying to copy it as, as strongly as you can using little sketchy lines. Now when we come to the tail, it's really important here to um, really think about um, the different parts of the tail. So we have these different sections here. And what I like to do is just start with the center one. So this piece here, and say if we call that one, then we're going to have two, three, four, five, six, seven up here. If we call that one, we're doing one, two, three, four, five, and a small one under here, six. So it's important at this point, with, with something repetitive like the tail, is to just start with kind of the angle of the, the central one. Try and get the, the curve of it like this. And then just look at how they, they interact. So this one that comes down here, number two, coming down, kind of sits underneath this one and gets skinnier as it comes back in. And then the next one, again quite rounded, gets skinnier in like that. The third is a bit pointy and it's not quite as far out so 
sort of more like this. The fourth is smaller again. And then the fifth is just a little baby one there. So you can see that with our proportion lines, we actually came out a bit too far there. And we can also rub out some of the extra um, just guidelines that we drew when we were sketching in the proportion. It's worth taking the time on these things just to get them right so that you know that the drawing itself is going to look like it's in proportion. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just check that that's right. So if this is our middle one here, one, this is our curvy one here, two, so one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. And the bottom one is just a, a small one there. So when we come to do the tone, we're going to be looking closely at how the tone shows in these feathers that are sitting on top of each other. Now we also want to try and just uh, just get a sense of the wood here as well. So we have some grains running through it obviously. Um, some of this is random texture but there is a kind of long skinny one like this that we'll pick up. And the secret with wood or organic things like this is that they, they never have really straight lines. So any lines on the edge like this, just, just sort of texture them a bit, add a little bit of kind of uh, messiness to the edge of the line. We also have some, some tone coming up here, some of the lighter um, moss or lichen or something happening in there. All right. Cool. So that's looking pretty good now. And what we just want to do is just go around and just tidy up those little areas that we that we may have drawn kind of in our fairly sketchy look, uh, sketchy technique. Yeah, it's looking good. Cool, it's a little bit more around here. All right. Okay, that's looking good. That's the end of that stage.